the hole in the heart that one tries desperately to fill with wealth acquired either wrongfully or harmfully remains unfilled, while other new holes appear in other places. Money can't make you happy. Material things, possessions, things you want, amounts of money may be able to please you for a while to bring some satisfaction, but that satisfaction can never be lasting because here in the uh, material world, everything is temporary. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And also in operation is the law of satiation. The law of satiation states that no matter what you do or acquire or enjoy, uh, you'll get tired of it after a while. No matter how much you are enjoying the dinner that you're having, and that might be your favorite food, your favorite dish, your favorite dinner, after a while, you'll get bored. That's how it works here in the material world. So you can't fill a hole that is a need simply with material things. You can divert yourself, you can please yourself, you can have some fun for a time, but uh, you cannot fulfill yourself uh, eternally or for the remainder of your life, not possible. That's why there's always a need to fulfill yourself spiritually, emotionally, and psychologically particularly spiritually, because that's the only element of all those that is eternal in nature. So we should be looking more toward the eternal. And we can use the temporal, the material, to pacify us in the meantime and enjoy some recreation and diversion. Uh, I know many, many very, very wealthy people. And some of them think that money is the key to their success and happiness. And I've noticed that no matter how much money they make, it's never enough. It's never enough. And they always got to make more. And I've dealt with a lot of very wealthy people who have lost a lot of money uh, in stock markets, investments, uh, economic crash, etc. And literally will be in tears on the phone uh, telling me they're down to their last $10 million. Yep. Because they used to have $100 million. What possibly will they be able to do with $10 million? And I am there at the other end of the phone consoling them and trying to help them, astrologically speaking, with uh, some good news. So, you see, it can be a great illusion and it will not fill the hole in the heart. Actually, the only thing that will fill the hole in the heart is love. Yes, a loving relationship with loved ones, with family, with spouse, with friends. Yes, that will help. Will it fill it completely? I don't know if that if that is the case. In most cases, no. That's why a loving relationship with God ultimately is the best thing.